Okay guys, this is Vivek Kumar and I'm going to show you how to model a bracket in PTC Creo Parametric. So let's get started. Open a new file and name it as bracket. So basically this is the bracket that we are going to model. Basically the first thing when you start modeling a part is that the type of the projection as we all know that basically there are two types of projections so from this symbol it is clearly stated that it is a third angle projection if it is a third angle projection this means this is front view this is top view and this is left side view so let's get started so what we do is we sketch at a plane front plane sketch and we orient it to perpendicular and hide these sketches so from here we can see a line of 114 millimeter and then 11 in the vertical and then Let me let us give this attention to the dimension of the sketch, and next is a circle of 23. This means we have to draw a circle of 23 and So if it is 23 this means radius is 46 and this is 72 and make sure to coincident this edge and this point okay and then you draw a line from here that intersect this curve here and we trim the axis section we don't need this we don't need this we don't need this 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 i guess we need this okay we need this section so control z we don't need this section okay so i guess our sketch is ready so from figure we see that here is some fillet of I don't know what radius but let us give a fillet of around 2 and that's it okay then we gonna extrude this sketch according to our figure that is from this we see that this is 50 so we gonna extrude this we select sketch and make sure to extrude the sketch sorry and make sure to extrude the sketch the mid plane and the value is 50 okay so now our plane is shifted to mid plane now let us again sketch this portion this portion as we see the plane is right here so what we do is go to sketch in front plane as you see our plane is in the middle of the model so sketch and we orient it to normal then what we do is we take references one two close and then a line of 72 and then at the 72 we have two circles that is 28 and one more circle that is so first circle is of diameter 28 and uh, second is of radius 19 that means 38 and 
this is 38 so I guess this is tangent to this so we're gonna delete this and let's draw again a circle uh, make sure this 19 and this is to vertical to make sure this point and this point horizontal and give this dimension of 38 now what you do is you draw a line that is tangent to this sketch so use a constraint tangent this and this and you're gonna trim the axis section okay and then what you do is you draw a circle again of this size and trim the axis section here and we also don't need this so basically our sketch is ready delete this and we extrude sorry we extrude this to mid plane and from the figure we see this is 28 so in mid plane enter the value 28 and okay and now from the top we will use dc the radius is of 14 on both of the sides then what we do is go to round and select edge 1 and 2 and enter the value 14 ok round 1 14 round 14 and ok ok then what remains now from the top view we see that there is two holes that are extruded up from this surface so now what we do is sketch on this face and sketch and take two circles one and two and uh, give the dimensions from each side this is 25 So if this is, so I guess, so if hole is 50, so this is 25 and take a reference from here because a top view shows that it is of 95 I guess. So the normal dimension is this point and this point this is 95 okay then give the diameters here is the sketch sketch is at desktop here so this is a 16 this is a 16 and as second is 12 12 to do ok extrude and from this surface you enter value 14 ok and now we see in this top view or in the front view is the radius fillet of 3 so you go to round select that edge and enter the value 3 and then you set ok and from now that side we see a slot cut out throughout from this side so what we're gonna do is sketch on that face and make it normal and what we do is we take references along the sides and we give rectangle this is of 12 so this is a 8 
and what is the height is also 12 the height is also 12 the normal this is 12 as shown to go to ok and extrude extrude make sure to extrude cut it not to extrude boss you change the direction and you extrude cut it now your bracket is ready now left are the two things from this left side view we see the two cuts so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch on this face and sketch and make it normal so what we're gonna do is we sketch a line parallel to this line which is at a distance of 30 and what we're gonna do is take a reference of this edge and add a circle so go to trim and trim these extra edges now the sketch is done and we can extrude it this sketch in the opposite direction and the distance is 11 ok so similarly what we gonna do is we select that feature we go to mirror and we select a front plane and set ok now we can see all the views from here so first so this is the front view as shown here this is the front view these are the hidden lines which are shows, shown by these lines and we need the left side view so this is the left side view which is shown by this picture and there is top view so this is the top view we see at this picture so this is the top view so that's how you model a bracket now thanks for watching tutorial good luck for the next time